I don't know what's happened underneath. We've damaged the vehicle underneath. So we're going to have to take a look. I don't know what's happened. Something else has fallen off. So I don't know what we've knocked off. I think the grey's the problem this time. OK. That's what's smashed off and gone down the road there. It's going to be a big shot. Big. That pizza looks good. But it with cheese. There's a Mexican roll up there. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I love one of them. There's not much cheese on that, so Harry might enjoy that. There's some sausages that he likes. How many do you reckon? He and George. Six. And the selection of bread is just way different here. Oh, we had the most amazing bread a couple of days ago, and it's none of this. I carried a watermelon. <laughs> And an eight cuna. Miles in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest. Golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo. You, oh, you, oh, I'd leave it all. My acres of a land, by the cheese. It may be hard for you to stop and believe, but for you, oh, you, oh, I'd leave it all. For you, ooh, you, ooh, I leave it all. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. Baby, if you owe me, then all of this will go away. Right, after grinding out of the last site, I did check underneath, and I thought all we damaged is ripped this pipe off here. But as we were driving away um, earlier on, we had a clunk and something fell off. So I pulled over the side of the road and then I picked this bit up. I don't know what's happened. Something else has fallen off since we grounded it out at the uh, other campsite. And then I thought everything was fine. We carried on driving and not five minutes later did I see in my rear mirror that something else fell off on the road. <laughs> I don't know what's happened underneath. We've damaged the vehicle underneath. So we're gonna to have to take a look. But listen, we need to fill up with fresh water. So let's see if it holds it or if it all just drops out. You see anything? Huh? <laughs> you get me with a bum in the air. <laughs> uh, no. It looks uh, fine, doesn't it? It does, it does, it looks well, fine. Let's see if we put water in if it holds it. <laughs> if it drops straight out. It's going in. Is it coming out? Seems to be holding. I'm saying nothing yet. So I don't know what we've knocked off. But at least it's holding fresh water. We'll be okay. Wonder if it's grey tank. Then. Here's my fancy remote that Phil made for me. This one here should drop the fresh. And it does. And let's look at the grey. I think the grey is the problem this time. Okay, I've worked it out. It's the grey one here that's missing. So I'm gonna have to bung that up. All our grey water's gonna be just pouring out. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so there's the problem. We've lost the, uh, the motor to uh, drop the grey water. That's what's smashed off and gone down the road there. Oh well. Right, I'll bung that up and we'll be okay. Right guys, we're at Camp Slapic. A very nice welcome at the reception. She said, go in, find a pitch. She recommended we pick them along the river here. And um, we found pitch 118 to be free, filled up the water and we're parked up now. Now to set the pitch up, looks like a lovely, lovely campsite. And it's got a pool for the boys as well as the river. Setting up a bit of a different pitch. Look, table and benches under the trees there. And here's the river. Hey, George. Hey. That looks so clear. <laughs> and green at the same time. <laughs> Oh, and look, white model Y park right next to us. So our pitch is there, and right here is access to the river. You see the docks? <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> um, <laughs> where are you going, George? <laughs> oh, God. It's a sandy. Oh, that's all right. Paddle over here. River's actually nice and warm. You said it's warmer than the pool, is it? Definitely. Hey, Georgie. It's lovely in here, isn't it? It is. And it gets really deep over there. Does it? Oh, God. And here. 
Your air mattress is getting away. Oh God. Camper's up there. And we're in here. Watch out for the shallow bit. Okay. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? In fact, I know what you got cooking. That fish we had the other day from Nida was so good, we got a load more of it, didn't we? We did. So, fish and rice, is that right? Fish and rice and salad and bread rolls. Nice healthy meal tonight, eh? And tomorrow night we might well go over to the restaurant and check out that, because it does look kind of quirky, it looks nice. I just had a good half hour, an hour editing over there, but listen, this here, it's nice and still now, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's shallow in places and then really deep in places. It's a river, it's not fast moving, nothing like that one in uh, Burn that we stayed at. And me and George spent a good hour floating around in that earlier. It was lovely. We really like it. And this, I think, he said is warmer than the pool. So that river is lovely. Just the weather, it's been a little overcast, but I'm hoping it'll perk up in the next day or two. George is sorting out dinner and it's getting a little dark, so I've put a lantern up here. Hey, George. Mm-hmm. Good morning from Camp Slapic. Um, we've come inland. I'm not sure if we've talked to you about where this is, but we're inland closer towards Zadar. Um, we arrived yesterday afternoon, had a great time playing in the river and the pool. This place is really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, we've got a 90% chance of rain for much of the day, but that can't stop me doing any washing because the first thing on my list this morning is bloody washing. Today's is a dead simple washing machine. You plug it, load it and then add a token that I got from reception. I always travel with a box of my own washing tablets just in case. A lot of the big sites have their own washing liquid as part of the system but I like my all-in-one little tablets that you should throw in the drum. And we're off. 56 minutes and I should be back. This year's really strange because it's the first year that um, I'm the only one getting up. <laughs> Steve used to be a really early riser but he actually prefers lying in bed to edit now. He finds that a lot more comfortable. Um, well, he does in the mornings anyway. So I guess I'm gonna go on my own this morning and head over to the restaurant to get some croissants and some bread. They're all fresh apparently. Uh-oh, you snooze, you lose. Right, Lindsay's disappeared. Let's go find her. Honey, there you are. You're right. You found me, I'm hiding. I was hiding from the boys and the rain down at the restaurant with a hot coffee. And surprisingly enough, I'm not actually doing accounts, the VAT return or payroll, anything boring. I'm doing a very special and lovely little project on our website. After years of being asked, we're finally putting together a map of our trip and I'll go back over the next few months and add previous trips as well. So you can follow on and see where we've stayed and where we've just popped in for lunch. It'll all be on there, it'll be dead easy to, to navigate and hopefully you'll find it helpful. Because I'm in the restaurant, I've hopped on the restaurant Wi-Fi and I'm using Surfshark to keep my data and my identity safe. If you don't know what Surfshark is, it's a VPN, which is a virtual private network. So what it does is encrypts my data between my laptop and the internet to keep me safe from the baddies and also from the big corporations who want to steal all my information. We pick Surfshark because it's one of the only VPN providers that allows you unlimited devices under one account. So all five of us can use our mobiles, our iPads, our laptops, anything you can think of, we can use them under one account. Since we started using it, the boys have found their own favorite feature. They love the fact that we can mask their IP address so that they can access their football and their F1 wherever in the world we happen to be. If you're looking for something that can protect your data and your identity online, you might want to give Surfshark a try. Use the link in the description, use the code RADFORDS and you'll get an 83% discount plus three months completely free. Now, I'm going to go back to my mapping because it's lovely. George is climbing trees, are you? Yep. Yeah? Not going swimming in the river today? Maybe. Hey. We'll see if the weather perks up. Are you helping mummy with the washing? And how's your makeshift washing line I've hung up for you, my love? Well, nothing's drying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> well, we just had a nice lunch, knocked up. But the rain, it's, it's in for the day, the rain is, isn't it? I think it's in for the week. 
<laughs> but there we are. Typical Brits, we're sitting outside under the awning. Lucky it's not windy, so we can have the awning out, I guess. We're going to be making nice, happy <laughs> holiday videos for you guys, and all we got <laughs> is rain. I see it's not raining back home right now. I've turned the air conditioning off for the first time in the trip. Maybe I'm taking a look around the facilities now to give you a key for the showers. So let's go and check these out. Check out my umbrella. Laundry room in here, children's toilet, my outside washing up area, and a little lounge area there. In the gents, we've got sinks. Fortunately, it's empty right now. More sinks, and here are the showers. Why they're locked, I don't know. These look nice. And the toilets, and urinals. Service area over there that we filled up when we got here. Family bathroom, and recycling. And some outside sinks here. And somewhere to maybe wash the dog. And in here, Toilet. There you go, love. I showed them the facilities. We picked the ideal pitch just across the road. We've got table tennis where the boys are playing right now. We're pitched here. Table tennis just there. All right, love. Yeah. Put your socks on. Socks, fluffy socks. <laughs> and my top. Your top. <laughs> I am not sitting inside. I'm on holiday. It's the summer, whether I like it or not. Very British of you. Yes. <laughs> and I'm doing a bit of uh, file transfer, and I am. I just checked and I haven't transferred the videos off the cameras for nearly 10 days. So, <laughs> wouldn't want to get an error on one of the memory cards. So doing a bit of organization, and this takes a lot of time, copying gigabytes of data from the GoPro, from this camera here, from the drone camera. So yeah, it's probably a good hour or two's worth of just copying files across to do. And what a better time to do it than right now, eh? Absolutely. I really like the local wine. It's very nice. So we're out at the restaurant on site tonight. And the local wine, Grass Vino, that's what you want to be ordering. It is fantastic. It's been great every time, hasn't it? Yeah, if you like a dry wine, that's the one. That is the one. And the restaurant is fairly busy. Yep. We have to wait to get a table, but we're seated now. Well, we're... we say it's busy, but actually only half the tables are available because um, because of the rain we've had today, they're soaked and the, the trees above them are very wet as well. So, they're working at 50% capacity but with 100% demand. <laughs> Good way to put it. Good way yeah. to put it. So it feels very busy. Right, food's ordered and the boys are off playing football. Apart from George who's here. But I just wanted to check in and let you know I've got jeans on for the first time. Yes, been wearing shorts the whole whole day, all swimming trunks. But tonight, I've had to put jeans on. It is a little bit chilly. I've stolen Steve's top as well. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Although I did enjoy a swim with George in the rain earlier. Oh, that was lovely. <laughs> it was lovely. So, I picked calamari and croquettas. Because calamari is never something I cook. I've never cooked calamari. I'm never going to cook it. So, I'm going to take the opportunity while we're out and about. With croquettes? Yeah, croquettes. And I have... A stuffed cheese and ham calamari and chips. Stuffed calamari, ham and cheese. Mmm. Oh, that is really good. Oh. Good. Oh, hey. <laughs> really? Mmm. <laughs> She's eating again. <laughs> How good's that? It's really good. That is really good. That was lovely, wasn't it? It was very lovely. And Harry's happy because we finished in time to go back for the Man U game at nine o'clock. Playing Liverpool. Let's hope they win, otherwise they'll have the ump tomorrow. <laughs> Teenagers, it's brilliant. They've both promised to speak on camera to you guys if we buy them an ice cream. You sure for this, boys? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah? You don't see these guys much on camera anymore. What's about to happen, right, lads, Harry? Um, we're going to get some ice cream. Yeah. He said we can get ice cream if we um if we do a piece of camera. But you're not on camera yet, Eddie. Well, I have been, actually. <laughs> Three scoops, that's a dedicated video, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> How many scoops? Two, three. Two vanilla, one cookie. Goodness me, Lucky Surfshark's sponsoring this video. <laughs> Thanks, sir, shop. Three really? scoops of ice cream each, boys. Yeah, yeah. I want to be completely unaware of the cost. I did not calculate this. I apologise because I've made severe and continuous lapses of my judgment. 
Put in the comments below if you want to see more of these two in the videos. Um, Non-negotiable. <laughs> Only this if is a one-time deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a single dad. Liars, they'll an do anything for ice cream. <laughs> Don't ruin the single with an album. <laughs> not, not. Who's there? The man that can't reach the doorbell. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's green and has wings? Grass, I was lying about the wings. <laughs> You know what, get in the comments if you want a regular feature from Harry like this, because he is very funny. The meal was great, and thanks for the boys for doing a cameo in this video. And of course, thanks Surfshark for sponsoring the video. Good morning. Good morning. So I think Camp Slapic is a fantastic site. It really is a great site. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't on our side during our visit. No, it was very beautiful. The river was lovely. It was gorgeous temperature. Yeah, George enjoyed playing in that. It was just a bit... Mm. wet and miserable and my washing 24 hours in is still damp <laughs> it feels like our holiday is coming to an end but we've still got plenty of time left it's just the weather's not on our side yeah hopefully it's going to perk up um i need to get a haircut now so um we're going to find a little hopefully find a barber shop um once we're on the road but first of all just fill this thing up with water while lindsay checks out right i've retopped the water up and now let's get back on the road lindsay has just gone in to settle the bill let's see how much it is how much was it 102 pounds 75 including two washes and a tumble dry right let's head off to a special little place that we know oh i'd leave it all oh for you Ooh, you I'd leave it all. 